Let's see what it takes to deploy a Gatsby JS site using Cleaver. I'm going to use this Gatsby starter blog as an example. This is the GitHub page. And they also have a live example here. So we'll click on that tab. And we'll be deploying this site basically on our own URL, on our own server. Okay, I already have a server up and running. The first thing that we want to do is install the Gatsby CLI. You don't have to use the Gatsby CLI, but a lot of the package.json files that you might look on on different examples uh, tend to utilize the Gatsby CLI. You can use npm or npx if you want to configure it that way, but let's just do the traditional route and first install Gatsby CLI. To do that, easy enough, go to Quick Scripts. And I already have installed Gatsby CLI created here in my Quick Scripts. Let's just take a look at the info here, and it's pretty quick and straightforward. You can do this in the terminal as well, but npm install global Gatsby CLI. And I'm going to run this on my new server that I created. Go ahead and go back to the servers, and then click into your server and add a new site. And here we'll select Node.js static. And I'm just going to use a free temporary domain. And for build command, instead of npm run build and flag production, what I'm going to add here is Gatsby build. And the artifact path where all this is going to be published to is public. So we'll add that here as well. You can configure these two settings in the web app settings area later on, but you know, easy enough just to do that here as we're creating the site. And we'll click on add. Ta -da! All right, there's the site, and let's go ahead and click on Set Up and Deploy. For this particular example, since it's on GitHub, I'm going to use a GitHub profile. And I didn't fork it to my own account, but what we can do since this is public on GitHub, is just put in the repository name and the repository text field right here. All right, so I'm going to paste that in. It's gatsbyjs forward slash gatsby starter blog and the branch to deploy is master, so we'll keep it like that. And then I'm gonna click on update. And honestly, this is all you really need to do. So I'm gonna to go to the deployments tab and click on deploy. So while this is installing, I noticed when I was trying to deploy some other Gatsby sites that install NPM packages and the generate app, uh, these two deployment steps take quite a while actually with Gatsby. So let's go and take a look at our monitoring to see what's going on during the installation. All right, we can see a, a pretty heavy load with the total CPU utilization. One thing I recommend doing is forking this project to your own GitHub repo, or if you're using you know, your own project and it's on GitHub, Instead of building the project and installing the NPM packages on your own server, what I recommend doing is enabling the GitHub Actions integration. That way, instead of all this junk happening on your server, it happens on GitHub. So GitHub will do all that processing, it will build it, and then Cleaver will just take the output of that, which is the public file, and then it will use that to activate your app, and that will be deployed out on your server. I would do that instead of getting all this junk here. Okay, looks like activity is dying down on the server. I'm going to expect that this is probably deployed out. Let's go to the web app section. And yeah, we can see it's deployed. Let's click into it to view the details. We can see that everything has completed. We see some ping times coming in. And we also see a 200 code, which is all good. Let's go ahead and visit that site. Then awesome, now we see the blog example on our own domain that we deployed out on our own server.